Good morning. Welcome everyone to Gentle Yoga. It's so good to see everyone. I uh, will give everybody a few minutes to get situated, get signed in. Uh, just a reminder, it's really nice to have a block or two, um, a strap. You can use a belt or a ribbon if you don't have that. A blanket's also a nice alternative to have as well. Um, if you don't have a blanket, you can always fold your mat in half. I'll show you just real quickly. You can take your mat, just fold it in half, and voila, you have a nice knee pad already in place. So just let everybody get situated with those things. If you um, are all ready and you would like some nice music that's relaxing that will help enhance your practice, and if you have Spotify, um, I do have a playlist on there. It's called Carolyn's Virtual Yoga, and it's just a nice, relaxing, soothing uh, set of music to uh, complement our practice. You might notice my setup is a little different today. I actually have two mats. I have my regular blue mat that you always see, and then I have a nice green mat coming this way. So when I say later on in the practice, let's come to the top of your mat, it will be a little less confusing to see me at the top of my mat. You'll also see me doing the warriors on uh, the regular blue mat, um, but it will just be a little easier to follow. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna take our shoulders, reach them up towards our ears, roll them back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then squeeze the belly button in towards the spine. While we're at it, while we're thinking about our posture, just imagine a string holding you up from the ceiling. See if you can't just grow through the torso a little taller. It will help expand your lungs. Um, it's good for your organs. It will help us to center and develop our breath. So go ahead and close your eyes or perhaps just gaze at the floor just in front of you, maybe a spot, try to hold that position and let's breathe in deeply from the belly as though we're surprised to see somebody. Breathing in, maybe taking in a little more air and then we're gonna exhale through our nose as though we're fogging up a mirror. letting out all the stale air. Let's do that again. You're going to hear this in the back of your throat. Breathing in through your nose. Exhaling. Fogging up that mirror, hearing that yoga breath in the back of your throat. Continue to breathe like this. And as you're breathing, just think in your mind of a word that brings you joy any word, maybe it's joy itself, maybe it's friendship, love, forgiveness, patience, gratitude, any word you can think of. If you can't think of a word, maybe think of a person that you can dedicate today's practice to. And we do this just to keep our mind from wandering, to keep our mind in the present. It's very easy to hear noises in our household and think, oh dear, I need to go take care of this, or did I do that yesterday? And this way we enjoy our practice if we're in the moment. So take a few more breaths, gather up your intention. One more breath. Lovely. Hopefully you're already feeling a little sense of relaxation coming over you and we're ready to start. So once again, let's take our shoulders, reach them up towards our ears, roll them back, opening up all that additional space in our collarbone and chest and squeezing our shoulder blades together. And then we're going to just sweep our arms up towards the ceiling. Try to squeeze or touch your arms to your ears. And since we have colder weather where I am at least, let's spread our hands when they're up there, Hand, spread our fingers as wide as we can, almost to where it's uncomfortable. Spread the fingers wide, so good for the fingers. 
And then on your next breath, we're gonna take a deep bend to the right. So we're gonna stretch all the way to the right. And then inhale, reach up, spread those fingers as wide as you can. Exhale, take it to the left. Let's do another. Inhale, reach up, spread the fingers. Squeeze the ears with the arms. Take it to the right. Try to keep your sit bones on the mat. Inhale, reach up, squeeze the arms. Exhale, take it to the left. And then release. Let's bring our hands. We can still spread the hands and bring them to our knees and roll out the shoulders with our breath. Just rolling the shoulders towards that wall behind you and then reversing your shoulder rolls towards the wall in front of you. Nice, still sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna reach our hands up towards the ceiling. This time we're gonna press the palms together, bend the elbows. So we're framing our head with our arms. And then we're gonna just bring the fingertips to the back wall, elbows towards the front with our breath. Inhale, the hands are over the head. Exhale, the hands are facing the back wall. Inhale up, exhale back. So good if you sit a lot. Inhale up, exhale back. Let's do one more. Inhale up, exhale back. While we're here, let's clasp the hands together, press them into the back of the head or the skull and squeeze the elbows behind to that back wall. Feeling the shoulder blades squeeze together. And then on your next breath, we're gonna bring the elbows forward. Inhale, touch. Exhale, bring them to the side. Inhale, touch. Exhale, to the side. Inhale, touch. Exhale, to the side. One more, inhale, touch. Exhale, to the side. Let's release those hands back to the knees, spread the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades together and just sit up nice and tall. Squeeze the belly button towards the spine. Take a deep breath in. Deep exhale out. Lovely. And then find your yoga strap. Let's go ahead and unroll that. Maybe allow about two feet. We've done this before if you've been in my class before. It depends on how wide your shoulders are, but we're gonna hold it out in front of us. And I like to have a little over two feet. And then we're gonna reach the strap up over our head. If this is uncomfortable, this is where you can kind of adjust and tell. I'm gonna allow a little more strap because it's a little uncomfortable to my shoulders. So just make those adjustments and then take the strap all the way to the back. Try to touch the floor, the back of your mat, and then inhale up, exhale to the front. This is great for posture. Inhale up. Exhale to the back. Inhale up, nice tight strap. Exhale to the front, let's do one more. Inhale up, exhale to the back. Inhale up, and then we're gonna take it to the side. So in your next breath, you're just gonna bring it over to the right side. Be very careful about that buckle. Um, make sure it doesn't hit you and then reach back up straight and then exhale to the left. We're gonna do one more on each side. Inhale straight up, exhale, take it to the right. And then inhale straight up, exhale, take it to the left. Nice work. Let's go ahead and just put that strap up towards the top of our mat. We might use it later, so we'll just Place it over there and let's take some little rolls. Let's take our hands, wide fingers, press them onto our knees and just roll the body, maybe starting towards the left, breathing in as you make these little circles, chest comes down towards the mat. And about the third time around, let's reverse those circles going the opposite direction, breathing in, exhaling out three times around. Nice. Then on your next breath, we're going to change our position just a little bit. We're going to turn our seated position into a butterfly, bringing our feet out about 
and with foot in between our body and our feet and just move your butterfly wings, sitting up nice and tall, squeezing the belly button in, holding this. And then on your next breath, we're gonna press the feet towards the edge or towards the top of our mat. And we're gonna just bring the body down along with our feet. Maybe the elbows come out to the side. Try to drop your head so we don't strain our neck. Just gaze at your mat, breathing in, exhaling out. One more breath in, one more breath out. Nice work. And then we're going to just bring the feet straight in front of us, draw the toes towards the forehead. We're gonna sit up nice and tall again. We'll press the palms together. In fact, if you have a block, you can even use your block and just press on, press into the block, pressing it, pressing it, drawing the toes towards the forehead, squeezing the belly button. This alone is working on so much. Our legs, our core, our arms as we press into the block. Now let's turn on our breath. We're gonna point the toes on the inhale. Exhale, draw the toes towards the forehead. Inhale, point the toes. Are you still pressing on your block? Press, press, press. Exhale, toes towards the forehead. One more. Inhale, point the toes. Exhale, toes towards the forehead. And then we're gonna take our block, maybe hold it in a level two position, and we're gonna bend the knees and slightly come back onto our seat, onto um, the buttocks area and bring our block over to the right side. Now we're gonna to try to lift our feet. Now this is really gonna work the core. And almost as though we are at the gym on equipment, we're going to, with our breath, take the block to the right, and then inhale, take it to the left. Maybe the feet move to the right. Inhale, take the block to the right. Exhale, take the block to the left. Inhale, take the block to the right. Exhale. Take the block to the left, one more. Inhale, take the block to the right. Exhale, take the block to the left. Very nice, we are nice and warmed up now. So we're gonna come back to that forward fold position. Feet are straight in front of us. We're sitting up nice and tall with a tall spine. Toes are facing the, the ceiling. And then we're gonna take this left leg and bend it and slide this uh, foot up and the foot's gonna be right on the inside of the right leg. Then we're gonna lift it up and place it on the outside of that knee, and we're gonna take a twist. Opposite arm comes out, right arm comes around, we wrap it so the crook of the arm is grabbing that knee and pull that left knee in towards the body. Left hand comes around, comes behind, and try your best to see the back wall. Maybe you can see the middle of the wall. Draw the right toe towards the uh, forehead, towards the body. Let's hold this. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Let's untangle, take your hands, place them back behind you, and just wiggle out the feet. Just wiggle out the legs, the feet, everything. Get a little blood circulating and moving, and then we're going to do the other side. So sitting up nice and tall, press the palms together. We're gonna to slide the right foot up. Take that right foot, place it on the outside of the left. Opposite arm comes out, which is the left, wraps around, draw that left, that right leg in, right hand comes back behind and try to look behind you. Draw the toes on the left foot in towards your body and see if this side is any different. Try to see the middle of that wall. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Let's go ahead and just for good measure, come right back to that forward fold position, straight legs. And once again, just release all that tension in the legs, move them about. Then on your next breath, just draw the knees in towards the body, and we're gonna come into a tabletop. We're gonna spend a little bit of time in a tabletop. So as I said earlier, you can fold your mat. You can just take your mat, 
fold it in half, and then you have a knee pad. You can use a knee pad if you have one, or you can use a blanket just to protect your knees. It's kind of nice to have a blanket handy, and that's what I'm gonna demo today. So we're gonna go ahead and come into that tabletop position. Once we're there, I always like to advise warming up the spine. So we're gonna bring the hips all the way to the left wall, then back to the back wall and to the right, making a circular motion, almost as though we are stirring a pot and we have a wooden spoon around our um, waist. And look at your hands, make sure your hands are nice and active. Make sure that you don't have dead hands, that the hands are not just on the mat. Make sure that the fingertips are firmly planted into the mat. And we do this to protect the wrists, especially when we're in a position for a long time, like table or a down dog. Take your gaze right in between your hands so we don't strain the neck. And then on your next breath, we're gonna do a little stretching. We're gonna reach back the right foot, tuck the toes, draw the heel into the mat. Feel that nice stretch. At the same time, we're gonna heel toe the foot on the left side. All of our weight's gonna come into our left palm and then we're going to just reach up and we're in a side plank. Reach up with the right hand, try to see the thumb. Hold this five, four, three, two, one, and then we're gonna come right back to a table and make that circular motion. Once again, make sure you're reversing those circles. On your next breath, we're gonna go right to it on the left side, straighten that leg, tuck the toe, draw the heel towards the floor, feeling that nice stretch. At the same time, heel toe your foot, on the right side, noticing all the weight wanting to come into the right side. And then just reach that left arm up, gaze at that thumb, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, returning to your tabletop. Let's take a cat cow here, breathing in for cow, exhaling for cat, chin to chest. Let's do another one just like that, breathing in for cow. Exhale for cat, lovely. On your next breath, we're gonna do some balancing and some core work. We're gonna reach out the right hand, spread the fingers nice and wide. We're gonna reach back the left foot. We're not gonna stay here. We're gonna cactus the arm of the right hand and then we're gonna bend the knee on the left side. Now this in itself is awkward. This is a half frog. We're gonna hold this, breathing in. And then when we exhale, we're gonna come back to where we started. Straight arm out, straight leg out. Next breath, come back to that little half frog cactus pose. Inhale, exhale, straight arm. We're gonna do one more. Inhale, uh, bend the knee, bend the arm. Exhale, straight arm. Go ahead and come back to a tabletop and let's take a deep breath in. Deep exhale out. And then we're gonna sit back onto the heels. Take our hands, spread the hands as wide as we can, press them out in front of us and then make a ball with your hands. Next breath, spread the fingers out wide, make a ball with your hands. Inhale, spread the fingers, spread, spread, spread. Exhale, make a ball with your hand and then rotate the wrists. Feels nice after what we did with the little half frog. And then on your next breath, let's come right back into our table so we can prepare for the other side. So next breath, reach out the left hand, spread the fingers wide, reach out the right foot, hold it right here. And then on the next breath, we're gonna transform it into that little frog position. Cactus the arm, bend the knee, hold it. And then exhale, come straight. Inhale, come to that cactus frog position. Exhale, straighten it out. 
One more, inhale, cactus the arm, bend the knee. Exhale, straighten it out and hold this. And then we're gonna come right back to our table and let's take a cat cow. Breathing in for cow. Exhale for cat, chin to chest. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Let's do one more. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. And then make any kind of little wiggles that you might need to with the hips moving side to side. On your next breath, we're gonna come back to that position again where we reach out with our right hand, reach back with our left foot. Stay right here for balance or if you want a little more, reach back behind, bend that knee on the left side, grab that foot, gaze to the floor and hold it for five, four, three, two, one. And then the right hand's gonna come to the left shoulder and just hold onto the shoulder, flatten that foot and let's work our glutes. Lifting towards the ceiling, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna straighten the leg just a little, not a lot and point the toe and lift the toe towards the ceiling. Ooh, a different stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to a table and let's Caroline, use our hips. I have yes? a question for you. Okay. When you are holding it, we are not holding our breath, right? Breath, we are still breathing. Oh, still breathing. Yes. Always keep your yoga breath. That's a great question. Always make sure you're breathing the whole time. Yes. Okay. So even if you are counting, just, okay. Thanks. Yes. You're welcome. Yes. You'll hear me counting, but you don't have to count. You keep breathing. That was a wonderful question. Thank you for that. And let's yeah. just go ahead and bring our hips back towards our heels and make circular motions. Go around about three times. Make sure you're hearing that breath in the back of your throat. And then reverse it. Make sure you're going around three times and hearing that breath in the back of your throat. And remember, if you can't hear that breath in the back of your throat, Breathe in as though you're surprised to see someone and then exhale as though you're fogging up that mirror. Breath is so important and that was such a good question. All right, so when you're ready, we'll do the other side. Let's go ahead and reach out the left arm and reach back the right foot. Spread your fingers nice and wide and keep breathing. Hold this, stay right here or reach back behind, grab your foot Lift the foot up towards the ceiling, gaze to the floor. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. And then let's go ahead and take our hand and put it on our right shoulder. Flatten the foot, keep breathing and press that foot up towards the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one, now we're gonna straighten the leg, but not completely, the knee still bent, point the toe and lift towards the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one, fantastic. And let's return to our tabletop and let's take that cat-cow position. That's a great way to reconnect with our breath if we've lost it. Breathing in for cow. Exhale for cat, draw the chin to the chest. Inhale for cow, exhale for cat. We're gonna take one more here. Breathing in for cow, exhale for cat. Lovely. On your next breath, let's go ahead and sit back onto our heels like we did earlier. Let's take care of our wrists. Spread the fingers wide once again. Press them to the wall in front of us, straight arms. Squeeze those fingers apart and then make a ball with the fists. Next breath, squeeze the fingers apart, really squeeze them apart and then make a fist and let's rotate the wrists just in little circles. Lovely. On your next breath, if you do have a blanket or a knee pad, 
let's go ahead and place that to the side. We don't need it right now. And if you have a block, go ahead and grab that block and let's put it at the very top of our mat on the right hand side. And I would recommend that you would put it on level three. This is level one. This is level two, and this is level three. So just at the very top, it would be right at the very top of your mat. I'm gonna actually use it up here just because I think you'll be able to see me better. And then we're coming back to our table where we will not stay because we're gonna be doing our warriors. So on your next breath, coming into that table, let's tuck our toes, lift the knees, lift the hips, coming into our very first down dog of the morning. Check on your fingers, make sure the fingertips are pressed firmly into the mat. And then you can begin to pedal out your feet, drawing uh, one heel down to the mat, bending the opposite knee, stretching out your calf muscles, and then on your next breath, we're gonna raise the right leg. Reach it up nice and high. Hold it there. This is three-legged dog. Hearing your breath. And then on the next breath, we're gonna just bend the knee, draw it, and plant the foot right in between the palms. Plant the back foot at about 11 o'clock and come into a warrior one. Squeezing the arms in towards the ears. Spreading those fingers nice and wide gazing at the front wall, bending through the knee, holding it. And then on the next breath, we're going to go into warrior three. So we're gonna draw our hands down and we're gonna kick off with that back foot and just come into what looks like an airplane, except for our arms are going to go out in front, gaze at the floor and make sure that you're finding a spot to gaze at. That will help you with your balance, holding it, five, four, three, two, one, and then your right hand is gonna find that block. Place your hand on that block and we're gonna open up into a half moon. Straighten the toes so they're facing the wall in front of you. Five, four, three, two, one, and then we're going to just lower, bend the right knee, lower the leg, and come right into warrior two. That was advanced. Very nice stuff. Holding warrior two, gazing through your fingers. Take a deep breath in. Deep exhale out. Nice work, everybody. Then we're gonna rotate at the waist, press down, send the right leg back. And instead of staying in our down dog, we're gonna bend the knees wide and come into a child's pose. And just hold your breath, I mean, hold your um, hands out in front of you. Please don't hold your breath. I almost said that. Um, but just bring your hands to the top of your mat. If you have shoulders that are uh, a little sore, you can bring the hands to your sides and just press your forehead into the mat. Otherwise, get a nice stretch in those arms. Try to get the chest down. And we're just gonna hold this for a bit, hearing your breath in the back of your throat, maybe pressing your forehead into the mat, breathing in, exhaling out. Let's stay for one more breath here, breathing in, exhaling out. Lovely. And then on your next breath, just slide the right hand towards the body, then the left hand, Adjust the knees so they're right underneath the hips and we're back in our table, but we're not going to stay. Now, look at the top of your mat where your block is. We're just going to take our left hand, grab that block and send it over to the left hand side. I'm gonna turn this way just cause it's easier for you to see me on uh, the video. So just stay where you are. And then we're gonna tuck our toes, lift the knees, lift the hips. Take our gaze to the wall behind us. And once again, pedal out the feet here. Working those calf muscles, breathing in, exhaling out. And then on your next breath, go ahead and raise the left leg. Let's hold it up there. Point the toe maybe, hold it, three-legged dog. 
and then bend the knee, thread it through, plant the foot. And if it doesn't make it, just grab that foot with your left hand, help it out and come into your warrior one on the left side. Plant that back foot at about two o'clock. Nice bend in the knees, spread your fingers nice and wide. Squeeze the belly button in towards the spine. And then on your next breath, we're gonna draw the arms in towards our body. Press off with that right toe and come into our warrior three. Take your gaze to the floor, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. And then the left hand's gonna find that block. We're gonna turn the body and we're gonna turn this into a half moon. Point the toes towards that wall in front of you. This is advanced. The good news is this counts for balance today. Five, four, three, two, one. And then just slowly bend the right knee, come back, left knee, come back onto the right foot. And you're right back into warrior two, fantastic. Take your gaze right between your fingers. Gaze, hold this. And then on your next breath, we're gonna straighten that front leg and we're gonna spin our feet towards that front wall and we're already up. So we don't have to um, make our way up towards uh, for our balance. The good news is, is we've already done our balance. We're gonna do just a little bit more and we're on our mat. We're gonna send the right toes towards the right top of the mat, the left toes towards the top of the left mat and we're gonna bend the knees and come into a goddess pose. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Squeeze the belly together. We're gonna hold this. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Then on your next breath, we're gonna lift the heel on the right foot and lower it. Lift the heel on the left foot, lower it. Fill it in the calves. Lift the heel right, lower it. Lift the heel left, lower it. One more each side. Lift the heel right, lower it, lift the heel left, lower it, and then we're gonna lift both toes up. This is a hard balance. Hold it, five, four, three, two, one. Lower both heels, straighten both legs. Beautiful work today. Let's relax our arms and let's heel toe our feet so they come together at about hip distance. So wonderful. Then let's go ahead and sweep our arms up towards the ceiling. Squeeze your arms into your ears. And we're gonna take a little fold. We're um, actually in the middle of our mat. And then we're gonna take a halfway lift. And the halfway lift, make sure that your back is just as flat as it can be, gazing at the floor in front of you. It's so easy to hunch here, but we want a flat back. And then we're gonna exhale, take another fold. Next breath, we're gonna sweep our arms right back up towards the ceiling, reach, reach, reach. And I would like for you, while your hands are up towards your ceiling to come up to the top of your mat. I'm not gonna do that because I'm afraid you won't be able to see me very well. So you're up at the top of your mat. And then we're gonna exhale, take another little fold. Let the head just hang here. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. I like to turn this way so you can see the flat back. Exhale, take another fold. Put a little bend into the knees this time. And then on your next breath, come into a chair pose. Actually sitting as though there's a little invisible chair there. Let's cactus the arms, bring them out to the side. Hold this, it's really tough on the knees, but we can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna take another little fold. Just let your head hang here. Put a little bend of the knees if you need to. And let's shake her head yes. Shake her head no. Beautiful. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift, flat back. And then exhale, we're gonna come back down onto the mat into a tabletop, but we're not gonna stay in the table. So we really don't need our blankets. On your next breath, we're gonna draw that knee on the right side all the way up until it gets to the right um, wrist. And then we're gonna heel toe the foot 
the right foot all the way to the outside edge of the left side of your mat and then send the left leg back and we're in a pigeon pose. Now I will say this, if pigeon is not for you, if it bothers you or hurts you, you can always do it on your back. Just come to your back, raise the right leg, cross the left leg over, clasp the hands and just draw the leg towards your body. That's also a way to do it. I'm going to demo in traditional pigeon. So we're sitting up nice and tall in pigeon and then we're gonna walk our hands down towards the front of the mat and allow yourself to rest here. Hear your breath. Sometimes it's hard to hold this position. Think of your intention. The breath and the intention will help you to stay in the present. Heart rate's going down. Very nice. Hold it for another breath. And then on your next breath, we're gonna press out of this. Press back up. And we're gonna look behind us and see that left leg behind us. And we're gonna swing it around and come into an easy pose. Now, if you did take pigeon on your back, just gently come into an easy pose. Take your time and we'll just meet up in this nice, easy seated position. And we're gonna focus on our posture again. So we're gonna take our shoulders, reach them up towards the ears, roll them back, squeeze them together, squeeze the belly button in towards the spine and just move our neck side to side, hearing our breath, inhale, exhale. And then we're gonna send our arms out to the side, pressing as though we're holding on to the walls as if we're pressing into each wall. And then we're just gonna move our rib cage, just the rib cage, hips stay still. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out. One more breath here, breath travels up the spine. Breath travels down the spine, good. And the right hand's gonna reach back behind and find the left shoulder. Left hand's gonna reach behind the back and try to find your fingers. Walk the fingers um, down your back, up your back and see if they touch. Don't worry if they don't, mine never do. Just try to get that position as much as you can. And then with the elbows, we wanna push them back towards that back wall. Try to keep the spine straight. Let's hold this. I like to count it out just so we know we're holding it. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. And then reach the arms out to the sides again. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Squeeze that belly button in. Spread the fingers out nice and wide. And let's go side to side with our rib cage. Maybe we go to the left this time making that side to side movement. Try to keep the rest of the body still, just the rib cage moves. Beautiful. Then coming to stillness, let's take the left hand, reach it back behind, try to find that right shoulder. Right hand comes back behind, reaches behind and see if on this side, your fingertips can work their way towards one another. And if they don't touch, that's okay. Mine never do. And then take the elbows, reach them towards that back wall. Try to keep the spine and the neck straight. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Let's take care of our shoulders. That was a lot of work on our shoulders. Just roll them out, aiming towards that back wall. Hearing your breath as you roll, breathing in. Exhaling out, and then we're gonna reverse those rolls, rolling your shoulders towards the front wall. Breathing in, exhaling out, very nice. And I'm going to adjust myself just as not to confuse you. So you're sitting facing the top of your mat. You're gonna take your hands, press them into your mat, and just roll forward, coming back into that tabletop so that you can set up your pigeon on the other side. Now, I will say this, if you want to come into a pigeon from a down dog, a lot of people prefer that. 
please feel free to make that adjustment. I'm demoing it the same way. If you wanna come on your back also, know you're free to do that. So we're gonna bring the left knee to the left wrist. Heel toe that left foot to the outside edge of the mat and then press the right leg back and you're in your pigeon. Nice proud pigeon. Next breath, walk your hands forward, coming down maybe on your elbows. Maybe you even get the forehead down into the mat and just enjoy this. Holding this pose, building your strength, building your flexibility. Carry your breath. Go back to your intention if you need to. Breathing in. Exhaling out. Breathing in. Exhaling out. Breath travels up the spine. Breath travels down the spine. And then we're gonna come out of this on your next breath. So slowly, gently, hearing your breath, come back up to pigeon, proud pigeon. And then we're gonna swing that leg around and come into your easy pose. I am gonna turn towards the camera and we're gonna work on our necks. This is one of my favorite things and I think it's pretty well liked by um, everyone. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall. Once again, take the shoulders, reach them up towards your ears, roll them back, squeeze those shoulder blades together. If we could keep them like this all the time, it would be so good for us. And then we're gonna look to the right. Dip the chin down towards the, uh, towards the chest and look to the left. Inhale, dip the chin down towards the chest, look to the right. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, look to the right. Exhale, look to the left. Let's bring our head to neutral, just gazing at that front wall. You can even gaze to the, the floor in front of you. Sit up nice and tall. Let's take our right hand and reach it up like we're taking an oath and then reach over our head, find the left ear, close the eyes and draw the right ear towards the light, right shoulder. Try not to move the body and just enjoy this. Just think of the neck bands, think of the tops of the shoulders, all the tension, all the strain, the noise that you've stored there this week. Let it all go. Next breath, let's take that right hand, slide it down to the back of the skull. We're gonna take our nose and our chin and just draw them towards that right armpit. Try to see the back of the mat here. Maybe look even deeper. Squeeze the belly button. Maybe you feel something up and down your spine. Holding this, hearing that breath. Relaxing and release. Let's look up at the ceiling. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as you do this. Then draw your chin to your chest. Look at your feet. Inhale, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, look towards your feet. Inhale, up towards the ceiling. Exhale, look down to your feet. Then come back to neutral and let's take care of that left side. Raise that left hand, reach it all the way across, find your right ear, close your eyes and draw that left ear to the left shoulder. Hear your breath. Any leftover tension you might still have in your neck bands or your shoulders, let it all go. Give yourself permission to let go. And then that left hand's gonna slide down to the back of your skull. Nose and chin are gonna aim towards that armpit. Try to see the back of your mat. Squeeze the belly button in. Breath travels up the spine. Breath travels down the spine. And release, nice work. Let's make our way 
onto our backs now. We'll just bring our knees together, spin, and just slowly make our way down onto our mat. Now there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can just have the hands next to you, thumbs facing the ceiling and work the abdominal cavity slowly coming down. Or if you don't really wanna do that, you can come down on one elbow, come down on the other elbow, lean the head back, take a quick fish pose, maybe even let the feet flop a little bit and then slowly come all the way down to your mat. Once we're down here, let's make sure that our low back is pressed into the mat. It's very easy for that arch, that natural arch just to pop up. So with your breath, press the low back into the mat. And then inhale, allow that arch to come right back. And then on your next breath, press the low back into the mat. Hold it there, exhale, let that arch come up. We're gonna do one more. Inhale, press the low back into the mat. Exhale, let that arch come right back up. Let's go ahead and bend the knees, press them into the mat. And let's do that one more time with the low back. Notice when the knees are bent, the low back goes deeper into the mat. Let's press it even deeper into the mat, inhale. And then exhale, release that, very nice. On your next breath, let's go ahead and bring the shoulder blades even closer together. We're gonna set up for a bridge pose. Reach for your heels here. If you can feel them with your fingers, then you are aligned correctly. We're gonna clasp the hands together, draw the palms together. And then on your next breath, we're gonna lift the hips up towards the ceiling lift them up, and then maybe even stretch the toes together and see if you can come up on the toes. Take it a little higher. Try to keep your chin to your chest. Let's hold this. Five, four, three, two, one. Lovely. And then we're going to slowly come down out of it. Take your time here. Slow, slow, slow. Once you're down, Spread your arms out into a T. And we're gonna move our knees side to side. So we're gonna inhale, let the knees fall to the right side. And then exhale, bring the knees up, let them fall to the left. Let's turn this into a little flow. Inhale up, exhale to the right. Inhale up, exhale to the left. Let's do one more. Inhale, knees come up towards the ceiling. Exhale to the right. Inhale, knees come up towards the ceiling. Exhale, let's let them go to the left. Next breath, come back up to neutral. Let's go ahead and grab our knees and just bring them into our chest. Give ourselves a little hug. Maybe rock a little bit, make some little circles into your mat. Hearing your breath, breathing in, exhaling out. So good, we worked hard today. Breathing in, exhaling out. We combined our warriors with our balance. So good, we worked our core. On our next breath, let's turn this into a happy baby, grabbing the outside edges of your feet, or you can grab your big toes and your, or your big toe and your second toe and make some little rocks side to side. Sometimes it's nice to close your eyes here so you can really hear that breath in the back of your throat. Breathing in, exhaling out. So nice. And then on your next breath, let's take our hands and just bring them to the backs of the knees and let the knees just flop and let's rotate the ankles. Might hear a little popping. Just rotate those ankles. Breathing in, exhaling out. Maybe you feel the calf muscles turning on as you're doing this. Breathing in, exhaling out. 
On your next breath, let's straighten the legs. Maybe you keep the hands right at the backs of the knees. Straighten the legs. Try to get them as straight as you can. And then draw the toes towards your forehead as much as you can. You will feel a good stretch up and down your legs. Next breath, let's point the toes. Feel the calf muscles turn on. Then exhale, draw the toes towards the forehead. Feel that difference. Inhale, point the toes. Exhale, draw the toes towards the forehead. And then let's bring the toes just to neutral. They're just uh, reaching towards the back wall or pointing towards the back wall. And we're all gonna take a reverse pigeon. So we're gonna bend the left knee Set that ankle on the left on the left knee on the right side, right at the knee, and maybe just look up for a second, sweep the hands through, clasp the hands, and draw that right leg towards you. Draw the toes towards your forehead, and maybe you even rock a little side to side. If this is uncomfortable, and it is for some people, and that's okay, bend that outside leg. Make it a different variation of the reverse pigeon. Holding this, rocking side to side. And then on your next breath, we're just gonna take it to the other side. So come back to waterfall and bend that right leg, set that ankle right above the left knee, sweep the arms through, maybe give a nice pull to the left leg, draw the toes towards the forehead, once again, if this isn't for you, if this is uncomfortable, just bend that outside leg. Takes a lot of the strain off. You rock side to side or just stay still. No rules. This is your practice. You want to make it enjoyable for your body. You've done so many good things for your body today. And then on your next breath, we're going to set up our supine twist. So we're going to untangle, bring the knees just to hover right over the hips. Let's bring the arms out to a T again. Another option is you can cactus the arms if you prefer. I like to have mine out to a T. And we're going to take a lion's breath here. So we're going to take a deep breath in from the belly. And then when our lungs are full, we're going to exhale through our mouth. <sighs> completely empty the lungs, feel the stress, leave your body. Let's do that again. Deep breath in, deep exhale out through your mouth. Don't be afraid to make noise, it's okay. And then on your next breath, let's go back to our yoga breathing or ujjayi breath, breathing in deeply from the belly. On the exhale, let the knees fall to the right. Take your gaze over your left shoulder. Try to extend your left leg out over the bent right knee. Close your eyes. Keep your shoulders glued to the mount, mount. And let's just stay hearing your breath in the back of your throat. Breath travels up the spine. Breath travels down the spine. Inhale. Exhale, one more breath here, lovely. And then bring the knees back to hover right over the hips. We're gonna go straight to it on this side. So ujjayi breath, breathing in deeply. On your exhale, let the knees fall to the left. Gaze over your right shoulder, extend the leg if you like. Right leg goes over the left. Try to keep your shoulders glued to your mat. Close your eyes if you like. Three breaths here. Breath travels up the spine. Breath travels down the spine. Fill the lungs on your inhale. Empty the lungs on your exhale. One more breath. Beautiful. Then let's slowly release. We're gonna press the soles of the feet together for Supta Baddha Konasana, also known as butterfly pose. And we're slowly gonna bring those feet down to the mat. Maybe you stop on the way and hold it. 
keep coming. Once those feet land on your mat, draw the arms in towards your body, palms facing the ceiling. Let's squeeze our shoulder blades even tighter underneath us. And then let's send the right leg out and send the left leg out. Maybe they're not even on, their, on the mat. Maybe they're on the carpet or on the floor. And let's press that low back into the mat and just move our neck side to side. Close your eyes. If you find that your tongue is stuck to the roof of your mouth, just let it drop right into the lower palate. And then come to stillness. Maybe you move the jawbone side to side. Maybe you connect your breath to the movement of your chest rising and falling. And just allow yourself to melt from the top of the crown of your head all the way to the tips of your fingers, all the way to the tips of your toes. Just melt right into your mat. Close your eyes for Shavasana. And relax. We're going to stay here for about 10 breaths. And very slowly, very gently begin to bring some movement back into your body. Maybe spreading your fingers as wide as you can and then making a ball and rolling out your wrists. And then maybe drawing your knees into your chest, rotating the ankles. Maybe windshield wiping the knees side to side Option to take another happy baby, or maybe just give yourself a hug, drawing those knees in towards the chest. Any kind of movement to wake up the body. Good. And then on your next breath, we are, are going to do one more stretch. We're going to come right back to Shavasana. Let's bring our feet together and point the toes, keep them on the mat. We're gonna sweep our arms over our head and reach towards that back wall. So we're just reaching towards that back wall and here's where we're gonna squeeze everything and turn everything back on again. We're gonna squeeze our arms, maybe squeeze them into the ears, squeeze the belly button in towards the spine, squeeze the face, lift the kneecaps. So you're turning on the thigh muscles, squeeze the calf muscles by pointing the toes even deeper. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then exhale, draw the arms by your body's side. Just let everything melt right back into your mat. And then on your next breath, we'll roll to our right side. Maybe make a little pillow with your head, draw your knees up into your chest. We're starting over, starting fresh, starting anew. And then slowly, very gently, press yourself back up onto your mat in a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Lovely work. We're going to take our shoulders, reach them up towards our ears, roll them back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, squeeze that belly button in towards the spine. And then we're going to take our hands, spread those fingers out. Once again, as wide as you can, press them on either side of your mat, of your body. 
And then we're gonna just flip the fingers. Palms are facing the ceiling with our breath. Inhale, sweep the arms up towards the ceiling, palms meet. And then exhale, draw the palms down to heart center. Let's take care of our wrists one more time. Let's dial the fingertips down. Look at your veins. Pinkies are reaching towards you. If you wanna turn it on and squeeze your face and press your hands together, that's very beneficial for your muscles. Inhale, bring the fingertips back up towards the ceiling and let's separate the hands. Press the hands and the fingers apart. Let's go ahead and take one more fold. Just press the hands into your mat. Slowly take a fold. And then just to slowly come back up, bring the hands back towards your body. Maybe they come to your knees. Maybe they come to heart center. Thank you so much for joining us today for our gentle yoga. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.